Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to show you how I made these super easy epoxy coasters. Let's get started. I saw a bunch of guys on Instagram and YouTube doing epoxy coasters and I thought I'd give it a shot. I started with some scrap walnut I had laying around. First I ripped its rough edge off, saving as much material as I could. I didn't really have a dimension in mind. Next I lowered my blade to about half the thickness of the board. Nothing had to be exact at this point. Then starting at 90 on my miter gauge, I made several cuts. If you don't own a table saw, it's no big deal. Just use a skill saw and set your blade height about half the thickness and go to town. After I was happy with the amount of cuts I had at 90 degrees, I switched my miter gauge 15 degrees and made more cuts. I repeated this process over and over, moving 15 degrees each time. Here I just switched to the other half of the miter gauge and repeated the same process. After I was happy with the amount of cuts I made, I used painter's tape as the mold to hold the epoxy in. I made sure to press the painter's tape down as best I could to minimize any leaks I might have. With it all taped up, I was ready for the epoxy. I used Total Boat Epoxy and Black Diamond Pigments. This color is called Pure Pearl White. I'll leave links in the description to where you can get the items I used. The epoxy I'm using uses calibrated pumps, which makes pouring super simple. There's no guesswork involved. Here I start filling the cracks with the epoxy and doing my best to avoid overflow. You'll see that's a lot easier said than done. Here I am mixing up another cup of epoxy because I'm terrible at guessing at how much I'll need. With this epoxy you can pour up to a quarter inch thick and since my table saw blade is only an eighth inch thick. I thought I'd be pretty safe, even though it meets up and makes it a little bit thicker, but it worked out. 24 hours later, the epoxy was all cured, so I ripped the tape off and got ready to send it through the planer. Epoxy will run through a planer just fine. Make sure you got sharp blades and take your time make light passes. Be sure to wear a respirator too when cutting epoxy. I'll leave a link to one in the description. Then on to sanding. I used 120 grit. That'll be best to soak up the finish later. Since this was scrap wood and I really didn't have a dimension in mind, I just used my pocket rule to make the coaster square. Again, use a respirator when cutting epoxy and just take your time with the miter saw. Next, I just use my router and put a 45 degree chamfer on the top edges. Then I hit all the coasters with 120 grit sandpaper.
Now for the tedious part. The finish soaks in best at 120 grit, but the epoxy looks scratched up, so I used a thousand to clean up the epoxy. Next I just laid out some scrap wood for the coasters to dry on. But what I found that works really well is those little plastic bridge things they put in your pizza when they deliver it. I'm using General Finish's Armor Seal and Gloss for these coasters. I prefer to use a paper towel with this finish. A foam brush just makes it too thick. With the paper towel you can use the dry end to grab the extra. I did three coats of finish, 24 hours in between each, and also I sanded down with 400 grit paper between each coat. After all three coats were dry, I just put little felt pads on the bottom of each coaster. And that's pretty much it. I hit the coasters with 800 grit paper if there was any rust spots and I was done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if I was going to do something different next time, I might not finish the bottom and I might not put the felt on because if water runs off, then the coaster can soak up the water, not your furniture. Just an idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.